Hello and welcome to my channel. This is about the Occidental Leather Tool Vest, switching from pouches to a vest. If you want to see some other videos that I've made, I have my decked out truck that I've got a toolbox set up with decked and ladder rack um, system one. Uh, in addition to my bucket in another video of what tools you will need in any project. So here you go. I looked at a lot of vests and this is the one that I picked on my research and I'm very happy Hello, with welcome it. Welcome back. I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I've found to be really beneficial. Uh, I have a video of my truck being outfitted with decked and a um, System 1 ladder rack. Uh, you can check that out on my other feeds. Um, today I'm looking at my switch from bag to a vest and the vest I feel like has a lot of advantages because of the weight. Um, I weighed this with my son, it was 16 pounds and I pretty much have everything on here that I would need for most jobs. Now sometimes you can take some of this off, take some of it out, you don't need all of it at any one time but um, I like to have all of it. So I'm gonna show you also another review of having my, my bucket that I have. So when I come in, I have a bucket and a bag and my vest, and I should be able to do almost all of the jobs that I need to. And then I have my truck as my third option. Because as you know, trips are the killer in this business. Basically, when you come to a site, um, you might not know exactly what you're getting into and running back and forth from um, your shop to find a tool or to get something or even in, in and out to your truck um, is a hassle or even just running back and forth from a certain location. <laughs> so anyway, here's mine. I'm gonna unpack this and show you everything that I have on it. So this is called an Occidental Leather Vest and it is number 2575. And um, it has the bags and everything. I don't have it just loaded up with nails and stuff. I do have some in here, but obviously you would get those as needed. I generally carry some screws and some nails, um, but that's, that's the basics. So to start with a pocket, a lot of times I'll put my cell phone in here too, but uh, I have right to rain, waterproof list, always need to write notes, saves a lot of trips, and a lot of times you'll try to remember it and you won't. Uh, oil pen, all right, that's a nice thing to mark things out. Um, always need your trusty electrical tester so you don't get shocked. All right, another nice pen. Uh, this is actually a pencil. Uh, has a really nice eraser, really strong, and it comes out here. This is a right to rain product too. Kind of expensive, but it's, it's nice. Um, I have a red pencil black pencil or just regular pencil i cut them off so they fit in here nice all right i always carry electrical tape this one i keep it in the thing until i get it out so it doesn't get damaged all right so that's that top pocket right there um this is where i also like i said put my phone keeps dust out of it and all of that this i added i look customize this a little bit because if you bend over, these are the only pockets that it'll kind of fall out. Now here, I carry generally like a 25 or 30, all right, footer. Um, and sometimes I'll carry two, um, and this is where the bucket's handy. If I don't need two, I'll put one in the bucket. If I do need it, uh, a lot of times when I'm laying floor, I'll have two tape measures so that I can have them on both ends and not be carrying with them. Sometimes I'll leave this pocket just open so I can put screws, miscellaneous things I'm working on with that. Over here, I've got punches, all right? So you got the three main size punches, all right? For any type of punch you need in there, all right? And then a little, little bar to kind of pry off trim or to pop something out. It's kind of handy, nice to have. Another little um, cold chisel kind of punch there. Um, this is a blade, um, nice blade, really strong and sharper and thinner than most. And this comes over the top, all right? And it also holds this, this is called an Olfa, O-L-F-A, and really nice tool here as well. Um, you can have the other ones too. I carry some more in my bucket in case somebody's there to help. All right, so that's the top ones. All right, so now we get down here. 
You've got your utility knife. Um, it actually holds in there. I like to carry one that's a stronger, stronger, more fit one. Um, a lot of times when I'm laying floor, I have two. Uh, there is another pouch here, but I use that for other. Uh, little vice grips. If I need bigger ones, I'll go to my bucket. Always have electrical ones because sometimes you just get into electrical things that you don't get into. Um, I do the multiplier. All right, you can get these anywhere. Basically, um, nine multiplier. You got screwdriver, uh, different sizes of flat and Phillips. Those are super handy, so you don't have to carry a bunch of them with you. I do have bigger ones, longer ones in the bucket. All right. One chisel, carry it. Um, if I need more, I'll go to the to bucket, like I said. Um, obviously, you can carry these as needed, but like you can, um, a lot of times I'll put my nail guns on this, this side, whether it's staples, whether it's um, trim nails, just depending on the project that I'm doing, it'll be on this side. And then my other ones, I'm sorry, um, it'll be on this side. And then, uh, yeah, this on the right side. And then my nails and screws will be on this side so I can pull them out as needed. Okay, so let's see, what else do I got? All right, a uh, little scraper um, tool. All right, comes in handy all the time. Obviously your hammer, this one I've had forever. Um, gosh, I think I had this since I was like 15 years old. So it was one of the first East Wings. It was ergonomic. My dad used to make fun of me for this one all the time, but I love it. I've had it forever. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, flashlight over here. Um, always nice. All right, so this this side I also carry a flashlight. Uh, this one's a rechargeable. It's a Boulder by Anchor, and um, you can recharge it with USB. Really nice to have. All right, so that's that side. Except I have this hook to carry my screw uh, drill of any kind. Um, I always carry a little bag too, so that I have drill, flashlight, and um, this. So anytime I go in, I normally have this, but I'll have a bag too that has everything, but this is typically the one that you need most with these three. All right, and then if I know I'm getting into something more, I'll carry, I have a bag with all the others that I'll go over in another video. Um, this hook is great. You can actually turn it like that if you don't need it. So it's just there. Uh, also, this is kind of handy for the pencil. It's on here. So if you want to mark something, it comes right back. You don't have to just like real quick, boom, right there. And then you can take these, sharpen them, put them in there. Um, any one that you're using at the time, whether you're red or black, whatever you want. Okay, so that's the right side. So you can see there's already a lot that I've already unpacked. Um, this side, um, like I said, I normally keep this one open so I can grab stuff. If I'm changing parts, it's nice to drop them in here and just use this one open and keep this one where my, um, where the tape measure goes. But like I said, if you're carrying more, you can carry those too. Um, cat's paw. Um, like to not have to use that, but realistically, always have to. Uh, a little bit bigger, so I had a smaller one, but uh, a little bit bigger. If I have to use a real big one, uh, I go to my bucket. I have another larger, obviously a couple larger ones in there. All right, um, snips. All right, wire snips. Needle nose pliers, one of the most important things for um, getting things out um, level and a smaller set of pliers to tighten things up all right um, nails and stuff going here like I said screws so like right now um, I've got some screws in there uh, I can always tell which project I've been doing with what's in here uh, there's actually two pockets here but there's a main one for your screws all right um, you can hook keys on here too and I also put a little loop here to put some things in um, and keep those all set up. But that's pretty much all I need. I, I don't like to be too heavy with it. Um, the other last thing is your speed square. You always need a speed square and it goes right in there, kind of hides out. 
and it just boom right there mark so you come here mark done put it right back in right and then you're done all right and then you can put your hammer back all right so you get here um drill all right it could be either one right this thing you just slip up okay now we got that one put this in right Oop. and that's there I'm gonna work on that. I think I'm gonna sew that on there so that then I have that officially in there. Tester, pencils, all right, extra pencils. I got my pen, good pencil, all right, for writing notes. And then I also have my, that one, this, and obviously my cell phone, um, tape, all right, right now we got double those. Okay, got these going here, two of them here, and one there. Okay, I'm gonna put this other one right back behind. All right, this little guy goes here. All right, down here. You can carry two utility knives if you want because it has two utility knife spots. But um, like I said, I put all these other ones in here so that I can have multiple um, hand tools right there. All right, so that you can um, there it is. get those loaded. Okay, move those there, and um, those there. This one goes here. Side. I don't want to carry those on that side because you know you only have to grab those. Okay, this one goes back, back right in here. I also can loop this on here and put another set of like snips. All right, sometimes I'll carry snips in there. All right, so that is pretty much it. That is the vest. All right, and that's what I carry. Um, I'll show you another vest of my or another setup of my box or I mean my bag or sometimes it's a bucket normally I do a bucket so I hope you like it um, like I said 16 pounds um, and I'll show you my son wearing it and showing him like how much he it's really not that bad for him to even carry around and move and maneuver and pick up and do whatever you need to do with it so like I said don't always have it totally full but this is a really nice part of that all right thanks a lot Hope you liked it. Let me know if you if I missed anything, or if I had um, if you have any other ideas. Thanks. Bye. No, no. All right. So this is the vest, Occidental leather, twenty five seventy five, and um, I showed you a lot of the video of this, and you can see I'm fully loaded here. All right. You can put a gun, um, nail gun, or drill of any sort on here um, you also have another one here that you can put in as well uh, one thing i forgot to mention is the chalk box i carry a smaller one for um on my vest i have a bigger one that i typically carry in my bucket um, i have made a video of the bucket as well so this is the full tool fully loaded it's about 16 pounds um, probably 18 pounds with a drill or something on it a couple pounds of that but 16 pounds fully loaded with everything in it uh, hopefully you like it if you think I le left out any of the items please let me know um, but I think this would be good and like I said I don't always carry all this if I know I am only doing a certain job and I'm in a certain location I'll lighten it up if I'm doing more, I'll load up with uh, more nails and, um, and items to make sure that I have everything I need when I am uh, 
getting all and if i if i need to uh if i want another bag for um extra nails i can always add an extra pouch to carry multiple nails and screws um, on this, but typically I don't need as much unless I'm framing or something. I'll I'll carry more, but you know most of the time I use a nail gun anyway, so I'll use put the clips over here. So any questions, comments, let me know. Um, check out my truck um, that I did. I'll show you that fully loaded here soon too. Check out my bucket of tools as well. And if you're new to carpentry or fixing things, um, I would say you'll benefit from having all of these tools with you at any time. So thank you and have a good day. All right, so one other thing I carry on myself is this, and it is a Leatherman Wave. And it is excellent because I carry this on me in case I put my pouch down, I do have this. So I will have a knife, you know, those pliers, all right, a little bit of a measure if you need it uh, for something quick, um, some type of saw, all right, blade. Um, you have a file and a, that's the saw. Um, you have a really sharp knife that you can use, um, a file, all right. There's also openers, screwdrivers, Phillips head. Uh, there's a pair of scissors on here. So it just really, it comes in handy when you, when you need something um, just quickly, when you don't have this or your bucket with you and you're like carrying it. I have this hooked onto my belt or in my pocket. So just another thing to always kind of have with you because it, it does make a big difference in kind of keeping, like I said, keeping the trips down and I wanted to share that too. Uh, other thing is a um, watch. I love to have a, uh, mine's a I, iPhone, so I use a uh, Apple Watch. And that is huge for me because when I'm working, um, I can't take text. I can look up real quick while I'm working and I can see if somebody's contacting me, if I'm getting a call. Because like I said, I do a huge variety of things with either the car wash is calling me or the a tenant is calling me or, um, you know, all my kids, you know, anything that I have to do with that. Um, getting it in uh, maybe the banks calling me at any type of thing I can look up see if it's important and move on so your watch your phone your Leatherman your vest and your bucket and then your bag of drills all right um, huge for that that pretty much will get most things done and then your truck fully loaded if you're doing other things I like to carry my uh, battery bag of it has a saw oscillating tool. It has a uh, sawzall. It has the uh, jigsaw, all of the tools that you would need for electric for most tools as well. And you can pretty much knock out most jobs. So appreciate you uh, checking out. Um, please like or subscribe and um, let me know. I'll keep posting if you guys like them. Um, I appreciate you guys spending time and I like to give back to Google because I've taken a lot from it. So see you soon.